kids. I, I have babies. It's crazy. Um, I am. I mean, I look at them today. I, so I worked like five and I left them a note on the couch and I was like, I just got home. I have a 2 p.m. Zoom. Will you please wake me up at 1.30? And they just like came bum rushing in the bedroom and they're like, good morning. And I was like, this is the greatest thing that's ever happened. Like they're crazy. I produce two crazy little humans that are like, I all I want is for them to be good in the world. Like to me, that would be the greatest accomplishment. Like for them to just be good, decent human beings that make the world the world that I want to live in, that I want them to live in. That would be my greatest accomplishment. He's hands down one of the smartest people, period. Like, I don't want to be like, one of the smartest people I know. No, just period, one of the smartest people. But the funny thing is, he'll be like, he can't fix an iPhone, but he can tell you, he can do trajectory of where the world's going to be. And he can like, base like future where, the, where things are headed mm -hmm. and have the most brilliant conversations, but ask him to fix your like, iPhone and he has no clue how to do it. It's like the craziest of people are like, oh, you must live with like someone who's so good at technology. And I was like, he can't do anything. He can't figure it. But he can predict and see and understand people and understand technology in a way that I am always really impressed by. Animated series, Stoner Cats. She tells people how her husband, Ashton Kutcher, inspired her to dabble in crypto marketing. I live with someone who's in the, you know, tech industry. And so you do hear of just different things, like the word NFT, for instance, right? Like I kept hearing it for years and years and years. And I was like, I don't know what this is. And then finally COVID hit, we were in the same house and we heard each other's meetings. And so it was a little bit of like, just like overhearing what other people were talking about. And I was like, wait, if people are selling digital art as a flat piece of art, as as art, as an NFT, why can't I make an animated show as an NFT? And Ashton's like, well, you can. And I was like, oh, well, that's what I'm going to do. And that was literally it. Like, it was just more of just like an idea to a, a way to get a product made where the artist gets to still have ownership of its content and you cut out the middleman. NFTs are still an emerging trend. Samila was surprised by how many people she was able to recruit to take part in the new medium, including Jane Fonda. It's an incredible group of people that I called and I was like, hey, I know this is an incredibly weird request. Would you ever do something like this? And they're like, I don't quite get it. So I'm going to say yes. And everybody did it because it was like a different, it's just, just different. And everybody wants ownership of content to go to the artist. And this kind of allows that to happen. Anyway, so it's Jane Fonda's Mrs. Stoner, which is, by the way, who, we were like, who can be Mrs. Stoner? We're like, oh, we should get somebody like Jane Fonda. It would be so amazing to get somebody like Jane Fonda. And I was like, okay, let's just call Jane Fonda. I mean, it was literally like, hey, it was 